no more room in hell. The dead will walk the earth. dude faces and girl faces um, thanks for coming back it's been a while and uh, we've been busy and it's the nature of the beast but we're back we're bigger we're brighter we're better than ever thanks for all the subs it's making everything I hope you can see the subs climb you can see the channel getting better it all helps and um, you notice that we're surrounded by gear again this time we've hooked up with big boys over at wild wire music over in Selby And these guys are going to be hooking us up with some of the latest products so you see it first or if you don't see it first you see it clearer and you hear it better. We are doing our best to make the channel look as best as we can. Today uh, we're running through all of our signature models, or not all of them but a selection of. Um, we tried to pick the best out of the different body shapes and the different neck profiles, different pickup configs, different price brackets. So we're trying our best to cover all the bases in a quick video really, or quick-ish. You can't do anything super quick. It's Bibby's fault. Don't blame me. <laughs> so today we're going through the PRS SE 30 watt head. Now you guys who've subscribed, who've been liking the channel for a while, have noticed there's a previous video of the 30 watt combo that we've done. Um, but this is the big brother. In my opinion, the more versatile of the two. Uh, I'm using it through my own 1936 gig hardened bal ready 212 combo. It sounds absolutely awesome. So we're going to be running all of the guitars through that. Um, I'm running some effects through my Line 6 HD500. Um, so everything's the same. We're not changing any presets or anything. A little bit of delay, nice little bit of ambient reverb on there, just to keep everything sounding sweet. We don't want it sounding like an arse. Um, so we're going to start it off today with the Dave Navarro model. You guys will know this guy from Janie's Addiction. Um, he's got a little side project going as well, which is called Bib. Camp Freddy. Camp Freddy. Go um, to Camp Freddy. Awesome bands, bit of a super group, bit of a jamming super group. Um, as you can see, it's in a, the livery that I absolutely love. It's all black and go uh, white and gold. I'm good with that. And um, this guy has got the wide thin neck profile, um, 24 frets, 25 inch length. We have got the HFS in the treble, and we've got the vintage pickup in the bass. And it is coil tappable as well, which is excellent because that normally comes as an additional extra on most PRSs. Um, it's an SE range, which feels like a winner, to be honest with you. We've got that new bevel kind of top. Try and catch, let's try and catch it. Let's try and catch that, but oh, be careful. Oh, too much light. There you go, so check that out. So we can see that that's nice and arched, um, and that kind of gives us a bit more of a quality feel to these instruments, really. Um, so we'll start with this, going to play with a nice clean initially and then move into some dirtier stuff and then kick the drive in and kind of take it a little bit hairy. So here is tapped with a nice clean tone.
fairly decent tones, um, just a little bit of a one line riff, just so you can separate those tones, not coil tapped. Back pick up. <laughs> dynamic again the amp helps a lot it feels good great little guitar so next we're going to move on to something maybe like the Santana so I'll catch you in a sec while we do some wizardry and change guitars <laughs> So we're back, this time it's the Santana edition, special edition, um, or student edition, or normal edition, or whatever SE stands for these days. Um, so what we've got is a slightly fatter body, um, it's a Santana specific shape, which comes in as American Custom Shop, but it's filtered down to SE. And we have 24 and a half inch scale on this one, and it's slightly shorter. What's that half an inch? I don't know, Bib. Is it all in the half inch, dude? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> Does size really matter? <laughs> Never had any complaints. Yeah, no, I'll see. I have. So half an inch is all right. It does matter. Even though I'm losing it on this model, I'll take the Navarro one. Um, so with this, we've got the 245 pickups front and back, treble and bass. No um, coil tap on this bad boy, um, but as you can see, the veneer on this, the um, the, the flame maple, maple really pops on it. It comes in a selection of colours, so get over to Wildwire and check out what they've got on their catalogues. Look very, very sexy. On the back of this bad boy, we've got that natural finish, which gives it a very USA feel about it. it again, with all the SE range, it um, they definitely do more than they say on the tin, I think, really. Um, typical bridge, um, trend bridge, um, and that's basically it. It's a wide, fat neck, so definitely a bit more chunky in the hand, so you do get that kind of more bluesy vibe about it. And as we know, Santana's a bit of a kind of fusion blues god, um, and although he is a tiny wee individual, he's uh, massive on tone and skills, so let's see if I can do his custom model a little bit of justice. So we're going to try it with the clean tones first, then I'm going to kick in a little bit of drive, a la an emulation of a tube screamer, and then I'm going to rock it up by going to channel 2 on the amp. So let's see how these tones stack up.
Still that note at the end, like it like, makes sense of it. Um, awesome, sounds fat. Uh, I don't know about you, babe, but it kind of sounds a bit smoother to me than the day. There's a lot of beef in your beefy tone, it's fatter, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And maybe it's because Santana has a large bottom, maybe that's what it is. Never did a fat ass. <laughs> You've got some chunk in your drunk, uh, what is it? Junk in your trunk, that's it. Unpronounceables, I've got the unpronounceables, so um, yeah, yeah, awesome. Kind of sounds really fat. Definitely sounds different, which is the whole point of playing different models. Uh, I've said there's like 27 different signature models in the SE range or something, so we can't play through them all, but hopefully we've selected the ones that you guys want to see. Um, so, Carlos, you may have a massive ass, but you've got a smooth tone. Carlos? <laughs> <laughs> Schwang or Schwain again, <laughs> whatever I've said before. Uh, right, we're back, and uh, now this is kind of a blagger in the troop. This is the kind of little bonus one, the one that snuck behind the um, the meaning of the video, which was signature models, but this ain't a signature model. It's the um, Torero, which sounds like Ferrero, which is pretty good, because I love the Rocher. What we've got with this is a shred machine. It is PRS's... Um, hell bound um, six stringer so with this everything screams go really we've got you know, well the first things that have gone are the birds so birds on this ebony blacker than black fretboard do love the feel of an ebony fretboard the birds were slowing down the fret that was it. the birds are far too slow for this guitar we've also which is a pinnacle of again we're wide thin so we're definitely in the shredder PRS but we have a fantastic neck through, it's a little bit of pen on this particular model, but don't worry about that. So we have a neck through, uh, which again just spells go. Um, we have got a little bit of a flatter top on this model, so you'll see that it, it's kind of old SE style. Um, everyone else seems to have that bevel in now, that arch, but we have got the scoop, the forearm scoop. We've got a, not a, not a uh, licensed Floyd, this is a genuine Floyd, so we're double locking on this guitar as well. 25 and a half inch scale, so it's bigger, brasher, ballsier. Um, with this as well, you can e you easily feel the thump. It just, Bibby was saying earlier, as soon as we jammed, as soon as we plugged it in, it just starts banging. There's a lot of bass in that. Now, whether that's the extra half an inch, who knows? <laughs> You say the extra half inch helps with the banging. <laughs> well, no, I didn't. I didn't say that. You said that. But I'm sure the extra half inch definitely does help with the banging. That you just get more thump with that extra half inch um, of your um, scaling. <laughs> we have a three way blade selector switch. Long gone is the traditional LP style three way selector switch. It's again slit equals shred. Round circles equal peace and love and all hippie them. Um, no pull pot on this, so we've basically got just the dictator. Go. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of pull pot. No pull pot on this. And straight away, the other word for hellfire, hell blast is EMG. Surely it is. They're, they're, that is hell personified. So we've got big, fat, active EMG 8185 pickups on here. So absolutely just press go and it's all very shreddy. Cleans a crisp, but they're not really clean. It kind of pushes the amp. And um, so, if you're running a, a solid state amp, like maybe the Black Star ID range or something, then it's gonna um, stay clean, hopefully, because of the way the solid state works. But if you're pushing a valve amp like we are today with the SE30, you're gonna drive a little bit more. So, if you want crystally clean, you're gonna have to roll your drive back a little bit. But let's face it, this is not something you're gonna want to show up and do a country gig on. The only thing it's missing is um, 
like disease, viral infection, and um, hellfire. So the rest of it's there. It's white, which is a new color, I think, uh, for this particular model. It normally comes in like a purple flame, which again looks proper fit. But this is all bound in like a black band, and which just looks really, really nice. It's a very classy looking guitar, um, but it definitely means business. So we will um, put it through the same paces as we've done with the other guitar. So we're going to go through a clean, go through a slight, um, a, just like a, a, a tube screamer type drive, um, and then we'll, we'll boost it in the drive channel. So let's see what we get with this monster. So first, clean front pickup. That's a noise machine. <laughs> uh, Bibby's sweating more because of this guitar. <laughs> it's like I'm, he's me, his eyes have melted. Um, yeah, well, uh, hopefully you can hear that in YouTube land after all of the compression and stupid things that YouTube does to sound. Hopefully it won't sound out of tune, which is what YouTube also normally does. Um, but yes, yeah, super heavy, super shreddy. Um, I could have gone on all day and if I had the chance, I most probably would. Feels really, really good. Super heavy as well, like um, literally in more ways than one. Feels uh, just a better quality for some reason. I can feel the quality. I don't know whether it's the ebony. I don't know whether it's the the mahogany. The the, the, the something, the maple mahogany kind of mix. Um, just feels more expensive, it is a little bit more expensive, but it um, just feels it as well. 
So again, the the um, the Torero, Torero, like Torero. Um, just kicking ass, but not being a signature model, really. So worth the play if you're into the fast stuff. Unless your surname is Torero. If you're uh, Johnny Torero. If you're Johnny Torero, Dave Torero, Bobby Torero, Tracy Torero, get down, man. Just go, yeah, that, that's me. That is. Unless you're awesomely bad, and then maybe not. Or maybe, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, Betty Marston's coming up next. Marsden. <laughs> Here we are with the Bernie Marsden. Now again, as per the channel, if you look down, there's a review or demo of one. Um, but because we're now in a new place, new time, it's going to be just done again, really. So this is the standard. There is an LT edition. So if you check one of our later videos coming up, like and subscribe first, so you'll get um, some notifications. We're going to do the Bernie Marsden LT. So it is literally a weekend with Bernie's. Um, so we're going to sort them out and see what the difference is between the 5310 pickups as opposed to these 245s which are in the treble on the base. We've got the same scale length, uh, same sorry, same neck length as the um, Santana. So we've got the 24 and a half. So we've lost a whole inch off the um, Torero. Again, losing a whole inch is something that we all don't really want to do, but maybe you do if you're that way inclined. You're a blues player or a shredder, I suppose. Shredders must have longer stuff. Everyone has a size that's best for them, if that makes sense. So, this is um, different than 245. looks very similar to, um, but you get the kind of McCarty-style tuners. Um, and you also get a really thick mahogany body. It's, um, again, everything about this guitar is thick, really. So you get the wide, thick neck. You get a really deep LP-style PRS single cut body. Um, and that gear hopefully will equate to fatness and tonage. So we'll see. Obviously, it, it's very kind of LP-style. We've got two volumes at a tone. Um, now the one we initially tried way back when, the volume seemed to be in the wrong position, but they're in the right position now. Now I don't know whether that's, whether we were just getting it wrong in the first video, who knows. Anyway, we're just going to have a blast with it. Again, exactly the same settings as all the other SEs we've tried um, in this shoot, or shoot out. So let's see what it sounds like with the, uh, the clean tone. And we're going to put it over in the rhythm position. Six's interpretation of the Chief Screamer. <laughs>
treble pickup. Got the wrong volume then. <laughs> so let's kick some um, boom <laughs> in this thing. I'm just going to swear, but I realised that we're working with wild wire today, so you might not want to hear that swearing. Artist. I just want <laughs> all of them. Anyhow, right, sounds very fat. Obviously, we can hear the additional um, meat that's in the body of Benny. His guitar, not actually the guy. He's, um, he's quite a handsome fella. Um, so, uh, that's it, guys. That's the shootout. We'll make you back your own mind up, really. Uh, whatever you're after, there's definitely an SE in the range for you. Uh, I like the Shreddy one myself. Uh, and I like the Navarro one, but I can definitely see where if someone did want to go traditional LP, they just wanted something slightly out of the box, then this is going to do really, really well for you. I think the 245 will as well, um, but we're going to have a go anyway and play this up against the, um, the limited edition with the 5310s and see what you actually get any more bang for your buck, really. So that's it. Um, I'll kind of play you out with some more bluesy inspired nonsense and noodling so we'll and, choo -choo and laziness choo -choo. and we'll see you next time with some more um, PRS gear and new gear and stuff so take it easy guys see you soon <laughs>